The UN calls it the worst humanitarian crisis since the Second World War, and it's very difficult to see how it's going to end. The failure of talks in Geneva made this gathering in London all the more urgent, the opening speeches all the more somber. The situation is not sustainable. We cannot go on like this. There is no military solution. Only political dialogue, inclusive political dialogue, will rescue the Syrian people from their intolerable sufferings. There is a depressing assumption behind this conference that the Syrian crisis will be with us for some time to come. And therefore, donors need to look at long-term assistance, education and employment for millions of Syrians in the long years before they can return home. From Turkey, Lebanon and Jordan, stark warnings. They cannot carry on looking after millions of Syrians without more assistance. Looking into the eyes of my people and seeing the hardship and distress they carry, I must tell you, we have reached our limit. I represent the people of Jordan. Their well-being and safety are my first priority. Our country will continue to do what we can do to help those in need, but it cannot be at the expense of our own people's welfare. So there's something of a grand bargain on offer here. Donors give more aid to Syria's neighbors, and in return, they open up labor markets and ensure more Syrian children go to school. But as the Norwegian prime minister told me in pointed remarks about one of the participants in the Syrian war, the real solution is peace. We need to build confidence, have confidence-building measures in Syria. That means that the, the fighting has to decrease. Uh, Russia has to take the responsibility to make sure that there's a possibility for this peace negotiation. And it should be in their interest, too. I don't think Russia uh, would like to stay on forever uh, with military personnel and, a, and an expensive war in Syria. But European countries in particular have their own reasons to give generously here. By making life tolerable for Syrians in the region, they're perhaps less likely to seek asylum in Europe. This conference may alleviate Syria's agony. It's hard to believe that it will bring a lasting solution any closer.